Hey guys, I'm Kayla Walker and you are watching The Jane B Show. Stay tuned. Well, I'm glad you're here tonight. My name is Jessica Stiles, and I'm the founder of the Fab Network. It's a consulting company helping young professionals uh, with their careers within the fashion, arts, and beauty industry. And tonight, I'm so excited. We're celebrating the one-year anniversary, the website relaunch, the new membership level. So hence the name Fab Dipped in Gold. That's the new membership level. So I'm literally drenched in gold tonight. So we have a lot of things to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thankful to be here at this Fab event to impart into these young people. Um, just doing a lot of traveling. Uh, I was just in Montreal, uh, in LA, and, and then a couple weeks ago uh, for the Essence Festival, and then LA for the BET Awards, and I'm about to go back, circle back around for the VMA, back to LA. So I'm just working and working, working, trying to get some rest in between. So I'm excited. I'm just excited to create. Hey everybody, we caught up with two fabulous cake stylist out of Brooklyn, New York. So we're going to meet them and see what they've been up to. Hey guys. Hi. Well, 3D Platform represents us and we were encouraged to come out and join everyone to, and sponsor the cake for this event. Yeah, we have a lot of entrepreneurs in here tonight. A lot of people that have creative ideas and you're not sure exactly how to do it. And that's really why I created the Fab Network. And why all of my events always have an educational element to it. I really want people to learn, not only be inspired, but to walk away and say, you, you're you closer to attaining what your dream is because you were able to gain, even if it's a website, a resource, some type of information that will help you go further. And tonight we're celebrating the one year anniversary. My name is Laurel DeWitt, um, designer and founder of Laurel Luxe Metal Couture and Jewelry. Um, I was brought here by Jessica Styles to be the fashion panelist. Um, just, you know, discuss the day to day and what it takes to make it in the industry. My first solo fashion show, which was past February, because that, that got me on Rip the Runway on BET. Um, Nicki Minaj wore my jewelry then, Roxy, um, all the, the joy was throughout the whole show, every segment. Hey, we've caught up with a beautiful, sexy sister who is a chemist. She is the one behind the product, making us all look fabulous. Her name is Michelle, and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself. Hey, girl. Hi, how are you? I'm Michelle. I work for L'Oreal. I'm from New Jersey. I'm a chemist with her master's degree in cosmetic science from Fairleigh Dickinson. And I am true, truly the one who creates, innovates, and formulates. Hi, my name is Hillary Flowers. My store is in the Lower East Side of Manhattan on 40 Clinton Street between Stanton and Rivington. And I sell other designers' clothing and jewelry as well as my own. Well, I was asked to be one of the panelists and it sounded like a really good networking opportunity and something that I could really meet people and I'm so happy to be here with you right now. You know, we at the Jane B Show, we want to inspire people to pursue their dreams. So if you could give us a little bit of your um, history of how you got this started and how someone else could do the same if they would choose to. I literally had a moment in my house, I had an epiphany, you know, I asked myself, what do I want to do with my life? And I had a lot of great jobs before I started the Fab Network, but I guess the entrepreneur spirit was just tugging at me. I felt like I was supposed to be doing something else. And so I listened to my instinct. I said, I'm passionate about these things. I really want to step out on faith, and that's what I did. And sometimes you can't ask questions. You can't, you, it's not all going to be figured out, especially when you're, you're charting uncharted waters. And I think you just have to go for it. Don't, don't let yourself talk yourself out of it because sometimes we can be our own worst critic. And I say go for it. God will make a way. It's very pleasing and satisfying to do things that you enjoy. Don't get so caught up in the regular contemporary job where you have to do your 9 to 5 every day. But to, you know, really search inside yourself and find what makes you happy. Persistence and consistency. Humility has so much sell power, which I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, consistency brings forth a breakthrough. Um, and just having that work ethic that you know that you know that work ethic that you cannot be moved. Work ethic that, you know, 
okay, you worked hard yesterday, but you don't stop because you worked hard yesterday. Now it's time to work hard and work smart so you can get that, that, that harvest that you want. So, I mean, if I could say anything, just consistency, stay humble once you get to where you're going because it's a humble beginnings. So I don't stay that, don't, don't get brand new. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't get a couple coins and be like, oh, okay, what's your name? No, that's that's not cute. It's not a good look. I would say don't give up. A lot of our black young brothers and sisters choose to shy away from the sciences because they think it's too hard. A lot of the sciences involve um, a lot of hard work, a lot of science, um, a lot of math. But just stick with it. So that's a challenge because you don't really know like I'm getting a paycheck you know I have to make the money for myself so I have to do other things in order to maintain that fact that I can get enough money to pay my bills my rent for my shop my rent for my apartment my rent for my phone but the exciting thing is I sort of am in charge of my own schedule I don't have any boss telling me what to do I can listen to my own music I get to meet people all day long and it's cool so I get to like kind of call the shots I would say just work really hard really learn how to market yourself, build a good team, and just keep being creative and keep it moving.